Hello guys, welcome to Inside Electronics. So in today's episode, let's take a quick look at an item that was lying around in my room and ever since I joined this room. It's, it's getting two years now. And this is actually a charger made by GPAS and the model number is actually uh, GTR, I can focus on it, GTR34. So this charger belongs to the uh, corresponding trimmer which I will be taking apart next. So the reason why I think this will be a little bit interesting is because this actually feels quite heavy and the other side, let me just show you the whole thing, the other side is connected to this British standard plug, this is a British standard BS 1363 kind of plug which is a high, very high quality plug. So the reason why I think this will be very much interesting is because if you look at the specification you can see the input is 220 to 240 volts. 50 hertz AC and the output is also AC at 3 volts 100 milliamps. So that gives a clue regarding what will be inside of this and you can see there are two points on inside there which will go inside here. There are two pins on this side which I will be showing in the next video. So those two pins will actually match in here. I think it can only go one way. Yes, there is a uh, foolproof system here so it is actually polarity protected and you cannot reverse fit here this is fitting and this will not fit so yeah enough of talking let's just open it and see what comes inside just by the description itself it becomes quite obvious what is inside and let's see for real what is inside GPAS being a quality brand they will use quality components like otherwise see GPS branded products are mostly available across the Middle East region so to actually to sell an item in European not European I mean the Middle East area you need to qualify certain criteria so they have to use some proper plugs and other things to get it approved to use to legally use uh, or should I say like legally approved for sale in UAE of course there are a lot of Chinese items same situation like in India there are a lot of Chinese items available in uh, UAE also but legally they have to qualify a uh, certain criteria to be allowed to sold and this actually uh, qualifies that criteria because they are actually using proper equipped or certified things like the plug of course like this one so it has only three screws to open and there it is it came out like that it's very simple if you can uh, see that it's just simply a transformer you can see it's a dual split bobbin we'll call it a split bobbin and there's a small circuit board also in here which contains an LED which contains an LED I'm not sure whether it's in focus or not and uh, a hundred ohm resistor in series with the LED that's it on this side and the output this is the input I think we can take it out yep this whole thing can be taken apart so this is the whole circuit the AC mains from this plug goes straight into the primary side of the transformer which is this side and on the second is a split bobbin so it is actually much better quality than the cheap Chinese things I don't know whether the manufacturer is from China or not for this transformer and this is a sticker that was on top of this one it says HP01 I think that is the part number for that so on the other side you can see just an LED and the output the low voltage output from these two sides are going straight to these two connections which in fact go to the uh, trimmer so I think the main rectifier and other things will be inside that one so the, the reason why uh, I'm salvaging see if you find this kind of things trashed around of course go for it and salvage what you can find in this case you can salvage this low voltage low current transform the main reason see for some reason even the electronics enthusiast kind of people tries to ignore it simply they will discard or just dump off these kind of low voltage transformer the thing is you can actually buy online or you can get from local shops that high uh, like uh, high voltage high current transformers you can buy it online or you can get it wound 
you can get it wine uh, from a shop or you can buy it retail the point is you can it's actually much easier to get those high current transformers like anything above 500 milliamps one amps it's pretty much easy to find it but these kind of low current transformer low voltage low current transformers are quite difficult to find uh, retail and online also so if you can find you can actually use this thing so this being a 3 volt 300 milliamps this can actually be used for driving couple of leds uh, at 20 milliamps like if you are driving 20 20 milliamps you can drive up to 10 10 or even more leds without any problem this can actually drive that thing so this is quite useful in a way that you can use it so there is no good reason to just simply ignore it because it is actually of a low power you can use this thing so if you can find these kind of things this actually the trimmer is actually damaged it's the uh, the battery is faulty and also the motor is uh, stuck i think because it's very uh, difficult to spin that thing i don't sh i'm not sure exactly what is the reason i will open this and see so for any reason because trimmers mo will not last for a long time because being used in a wet environment the batteries actually can get corroded the battery terminals can get corroded and lots of issues can actually happen so in such cases just instead of simply throwing it away salvage what you can like this charger setup or in the next video i'll show you what you can salvage from a that trimmer so yeah if you are if you are an electronics enthusiast care for the earth always try to salvage what you can find so that's it as a quick video see you in another video